Hello, cool dudes. Long time no see. Today is June the 2nd, 2020. Yes, you're right. It's my birthday. Ah, oh, thanks very much. And to celebrate, I am going on the Parkland Walk. You can access this through Finsbury Park across this bridge, but it's closed due to the global pandemic that you may be aware of. I've done this walk many times. It goes from Finsbury Park all the way to Alexandra Palace. It's probably the route I've walked most in London over the last um, 20 years or so. So um, let's go for it. Good luck. You're probably thinking, this looks like some old railway track. Yes, you'd be exactly right. And it was built in 1867. Gradually, it fell out of use there were plans to use it as a section of the underground, a new part of the Northern Line called the Northern Heights. And here we're approaching the first station, Stroud Green. Just there is the old station master's house. I've lived on that road and up there, and right at the end of that road is where they filmed loads of um, Shaun of the Dead. That place there used to be a restaurant called The Triangle, and about half past eight, these belly dancers would come in and start belly dancing around you while you're trying to eat your meal. I mean, no one wants belly dancing while you're trying to eat. That's probably why it went bust. At the moment, England is in the stay alert phase and no one really knows what that means. From what I've seen, it's everyone over 30 giving each other two meters of space and most people under 30 completely ignoring it. There's normally some pretty good graffiti along here. In the, uh, I don't know what they're called, Alcos is the famous weird tunnel goblin. Can you think of a name for him? Just write it down below, along with your membership number, and whatever member comes up with the best name for that goblin, I will send you the brand new Cool Dudes Walking Club notebooks. Um, yeah, pretty impressive. If you want to join the club, uh, details are down below, and I will start doing regular competitions for rubbish prizes exclusively for members of the club. Uh, where are you now, Marek? I'm at possibly the best bit. This is Crouch End Station. Here's what the station used to look like. And the great thing is you can actually stand on the old platforms. They've even got the ridges here from um, uh, the mine the gap bit. And if you don't like joggers, you can imagine that it's still a working station and that all the joggers running in the middle are about to get destroyed by trains. There's not that many interesting things you can say about walking in the straight line. Now we're at Holmesdale Road near Highgate Tube and we have to cut through here. Let's go this way, through Queenswood and then all the way to follow the path back to Alley Pally up there. And if you carry on going rather than go onto the road, you get to these two old uh, tunnels which is where the end of the line which are now a bat sanctuary, probably where it all started. Welcome to Queenswood Local Nature Reserve, Priory Gardens Gate, Mong. When I first moved into the area, I always remember the estate agent saying about Queenswood that this is where they buried all the old plague victims, so it had a really weird feel about it. And what's odd about the pandemic is that loads and loads of different paths have sprung up where there were normally no paths at all because so many people are walking through the woods. I've been in North London for best part of 20 years and the worst bit, you might be able to hear them, is the invasion of the green parakeets. These assholes, are they near you? And do you think someone should start destroying them. Answers below. In Highgate Wood, of course, all woods look the same. 
but I filmed a lot of footage here in the winter. But here's some footage comparing it. I hope you enjoyed that little tour of Highgate Wood and now I'm about to rejoin the Parkland Walk in Cranley Gardens. It looks like a lovely street doesn't it Cranley Gardens but in fact it was the home of Dennis Nielsen where he killed three of his last victims and he got caught by flushing them down the drains. Pretty horrific. Anyway let's hope that doesn't happen on this walk. Let's go. Now approaching the very best part of the walk where there are views from Marswell Hill over all of London and along this bit 99% of the time there are youths smoking drugs almost as if there is a proper you know rota This tunnel up ahead is the end of the line. But I'm gonna go underneath this and through to Ali Pali. <laughs> Christmas, the infamous fireworks at Ali Pali, the horror of Halloween and the summer. And then Easter. This is one of my favorite bits of the whole walk. This oak tree is on the Ordnance Survey map. 1864. They reckon it was planted in the 1750s, so um, show some respect. Approaching Ali Pali, which of course is named after Alison Pallison, and was the home of the very first BBC television broadcast, and nowadays good for darts. Nice one, cool dudes. I'm here at Ali Pali. It's about a three hour walk. I think it's about three and a half, four miles, but my map stopped. I've done this walk so many times, I can't even tell if it's enjoyable or not. I'm going to give it three and a half stars that's it i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching don't forget to join the club most importantly stay cool